craftaholicmama.blogspot.com and today I'm going to make a Chibitronic card featuring digi stamps from Bugaboo Stamps for my design team project over at Scrapbook Blessings Club. And here I'm just showing you the lights and you're going to need some foam tape and some copper tape and a battery. You definitely want to use a CR2032 if you're buying batteries. I bought my batteries from Teresa over at Scrapping for Less. I'm also using the walking stitch, wonky stitch rectangles from Gina Marie Designs and the paper pad from Doodlebug. Here comes Santa Claus. So I'm just showing that I colored in my trees with Spectrum Noir and I'm picking out two trees to put the lights behind. Um, here's my pattern paper. I saved paper by cutting out the middle of the big one because you're never going to see it. And plus it helps cut down on the layers. We're going to go ahead and adhere these panels together. Everything I purchased was through Scrapping for Less besides the tape runner. This Kyoko tape runner, I know Teresa's trying to get it in. But um, at this point, she is not carrying it. I do get mine off of Amazon. All right, once we get our panels layered up, then we will go ahead and get started on the fun stuff. And that's the lights. First, I need to make some holes where I'm going to put the lights in the two stars of the tree. You do not need to do this part. I'm only doing it because I have several layers and the light won't shine through that many layers. If you're doing a single layer, it'll absolutely shine through. But I wanted to put some colored acetate behind these two holes. Um, I don't purchase the colored lights. I just purchase the white lights and just customize them with colored acetate or colored vellum. And it's perfect. It, uh, it colors the light. So I marked my two holes where I need my lights to be. Now I'm trying to figure out where I want to hide my battery, where I'm going to have my push fe um, feature. So there I've decided where to put my battery. I made a folded piece of paper here to use as a housing for my battery and I'm just taking that down. Now I'm going to install my two pieces of colored acetate right over the holes so you can't tell from the front but it'll shine through yellow instead of white. Alright now with this you need to have two paths, a negative path and a bad, uh, positive path. Your batteries have negative and positive sides so I always do the same, I do the negative path on the bottom part of the housing and the positive on the top part and each side of the light needs to have a negative and a positive. I'm going to run my copper tape starting with the negative path first and some people cut their tape in half but I don't mess with that because it's just an extra step I don't really care to do. So to make corners you just fold it back on itself and then come down. You want to get as close to that circle where your light's going to be as possible, but not on top of where the positive path is also going to be. Use a bone folder or the side of a pen to burnish it down to make sure you got good contact. Here I'm getting out a light just so I can determine how far away my positive needs to be. Um, on each side of the light, there's little copper conductors that help um, connect it. So you just need to make sure that your path is touching each side. And here I'm making my positive path, and it's one continuous line. For best results, it's best to do one continuous line. I have had to tear it and patch it in. And as long as you burnish it very well, it will still work, but it's best to do one continuous path. And here I'm burnishing it down. 
and you have to go over the top of that housing and back around so that when the battery's in between, it's being touched on both sides. All right, now we're gonna install the lights. And on the lights, there's a minus and a plus mark, and it's really hard to see here, but it's there. So remembering which one was my minus, I put the tip of the triangular on the minus path, and the bottom part is the positive path. And I wanna make sure, I almost got that negative there, a little too close. I don't want that positive part on the light to touch that negative path. So there we go, we're testing it, and it works perfect. Now we're going to start building up the card with foam tape. You need to have enough layers of foam tape to be taller than the thickness of that battery. Because if you don't, when you put your top panel down, the weight of the card stop will, will keep pressure on that battery and it won't shut off and you will your battery will go dead. It'll stay on and you won't be able to um, push it as you need it. Here my housing was just a little bit too thick to make sure that I had enough room for my foam tape so I just trimmed that down. So with this particular Scotch 3M foam tape I know that I need three layers from trial and error. I've tried two and it wasn't enough, the battery stayed on. So, and you kind of want to do some foam tape around the battery housing just to make sure that if that battery comes loose, here I'm going to tape it down, but if that happens to come loose, it's not going to escape and slide all over the inside of your car. It's going to stay stuck in that little corner. So I'm going to keep going on with some foam tape. This is a very fun to work with. It's a little intimidating at first to do a Chibitronic card. I watched several videos on YouTube and after I made my first one, I realized how easy it really is. It's just a little tedious with doing all the foam tape, but it is so much fun. And believe me, your recipient will love it. They are so much fun to make. They're not the cheapest card to make because um, on average, the battery is anywhere from 80 cents to a dollar each and same as the lights. But definitely go check out Teresa at Scrapping for Less. She sells them much more inexpensively than Amazon, so go check them out. Here I'm going to show you that I'm using some stamps to finish off the card and they are both from Lawn Fawn, the Push Here and the Merry Messages. I picked Happy Holidays, I didn't want to really do Merry Christmas because it's just trees so it could be, I wanted to make it a little bit more general. I'm going to temporarily tack this circle down so I can do the push here. I got it off a little center, but that's okay. It just means it's handmade. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and attach that where I think it needs to be. I'm not going to push it down really hard because I need to determine. See, I think I have it over a little bit too far right. I think it needs to go a little left, so I'm going to pick it up and move it over a little bit. And then I'm going to adhere my panel onto my face. And there, voila, it works. Yay! The, the camera makes it look like they're green lights, but in real life they're really yellow. So there you go. A Chibitronic card featuring Bugaboo Digi Stamp. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.